Hello everybody, tomorrow is the last day of February and today is February 27th, 2019 and today for this fire alarm demonstration we're going to be testing my three wall mounted specter alert advances. As you can tell, um, two of them are horn strobes and one is a remote strobe and I'm going to explain why in just a sec. And this is a very very common setup at this age because um, you s you pretty much see these like every new building you walk into and in the original parts of the building they have um, Spectre Alert Classics left over but some new buildings do not have Spectre Alert Classics because sometimes um, well they're not installing um, Spectre Alert Classics anymore but um, but they're still all over the place but they're these these alarms are probably going to get discontinued soon so um i'm not really sure why and they upgraded to the l series and but still at this age this is still a very common combo guys so for, so what do we have for devices for today this is the only pole station i have that's functional right here we have my firelight uh, bg12 l it's a conventional pole station. And for these three notification appliances, um, we have my two uh, Spectre Alert Advance P2R horn strobes. They're multi-candela. And both of the horns are set on temporal code 3 low, so I don't blow your guys' ears out. And over all the way on the right, we have my system sensor Spectre Alert Advance SR remote strobe. So basically with SRs, um, they're basically installed in the bathrooms or any small areas along with um, ceiling mount devices like, like PC2Rs or SCRs or PC2Ws or SCWs pretty much. So these are the red versions of the Spectre Alert advances, and these are pretty common, and you see these all over the place. They are pretty common, and this is a very popular combo, pretty much, because you see them almost everywhere. Same thing as Spectre Alert Classics. They're located almost everywhere at this age no still now. So, enough with the chit-chat, and my light, the light to the left, is turned on, my table lamp, because it is kind of dark outside. And... And also to be aware that these three strobes are going to sync for a while all together because I'm because they're all going off at the same time because I got them connected on one circuit coming from the batteries right there. So um, they are going to be uh, syncing with each other for a while without a sync module. I don't know why, it just does. And all the strobes are set for 15 candela, by the way. All right, I think I'm not. I had enough talking for like three and a half minutes. Let's just get on with the test. In, in three, two, one. As you can tell, they are kind of loud. And they just end up going out of sync. Okay, let's shut that up. Wow, guys. That was pretty cool. So, anyways guys, they were in sync for a little bit and then they end up going out of sync. So the strobes were synchronized for like 20 seconds and then 20 seconds like 20 seconds later they end up unsynchronized. 
most fire alarm systems have um, synchronized uh, strobes at least. And sometimes there are synchronization issues with fire alarms as well. Some of them start to malfunction, but these are very good alarms, guys. So I recommend buying yourself a Spectre Alert Advanced Horn Strobe or Remote Strobe because these work really well, guys. Just like the Spectre Alert Classic. Spectre Alert Classics are pretty good, too. There are still plenty left around the world, guys. They are still really, 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 really common at this age. So I would recommend getting a Spectre Alert Advance or Classic or both. So these are really good beginner's alarms, guys. So just like New Age Server Alarm said for collecting fire alarms for beginners. But um, as, as well as for the demonstration, that'll be it. See you later.